What's up guys, Thomas here, and today we are doing the setup and first light of the x Night 35. If you're coming from my unboxing video, welcome back to the channel and thank you. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below and above where you can see that video. So I have all my items here that I need to do my setup. Starting from the left to right, I got my controller or radio. This is the Jumper t Light. This is my daily driver, pretty nice compact radio with multiple protocols and I have a little bay here. This is my Crossfire module, so I will be using this module for that. As usual, you know you're here for this. This is the x Night 35 and it is a digital system, so I do need a goggles for that and I do have my DJI goggles. Now this drone does not come in analog, so you can't use your analog goggles with this. These are all the things that I need. I also have a battery, the props, and my camera mount. All right guys, so let's get this set up. First of all, I wanna bind this drone to my radio. I've already done that. I have a profile built into my radio. Binding this is pretty simple, especially if it's crossfire. You just hit the system button, go to your crossfire config, go to your menu, and the next one down is the bind. Hit enter, and it will enter the binding mode. If you're using a DJI controller, it's pretty simple. There's a little button you can press on the control. I don't have one right now. And I do have an air module here, a Vista. There is a button on the side, pretty easy actually. And in this case, this joint here doesn't require a pin. You press that and that will bind to both your goggles and your controller. Talking about that, I did also bind the controller. I will leave a link. I have made a video on doing that process. I will leave a link down below where you can find that if you haven't done that before. But right now, this thing here is pretty much set up. Nothing much else left to do, but to go on the computer, go on beta flight, see the settings, set up our switches, and then come back here and then go for a flight, guys. So let's go to the computer. All right, guys, we're at the computer here. We have beta flight pulled up here. I have all my accessories here. I have my drone, my controller, and my goggles. I probably don't need the goggles here because it's already bound to the actual Air Vista unit. But just in case, I have it here. I also have my fan, that's a really good practice. I wanna keep this thing as cool as possible. All right, let's connect this to the computer here. Connect this, power my radio. Welcome to OpenTX. Here we go. Perfect. Let's go to here. All right, so let's go here and check this out. All right, port, you are two. All right, configuration, props are out. So that's good to know that when I put the props on the drone here, it's crossfire receiver, which is good. Not even gonna mess with any of this stuff, especially since I wanna test the factory rates on here. All right, receiver, we checked all that, all of that looks good, the throttle, there you go. All right, wow, they have mostly everything here. Uh, arm, angle, horizon, beeper, flip over. These are all the stuff that I usually assign. So let's see if they're configured properly. Let's go with the arm. The arm on arm is perfect. Now it's an angle mode, that's good. Middle should be horizon and this should be air mode or acro mode that's good my beeper flip over crash is that what i wanted and that's the beeper the beeper works perfect so let's save osd this is where it's going to be interesting go through this pretty quickly cross here so it's already there cool we'll do that for now ntsc i think we're done here Boom, that's the way I like it, clean as possible. Race band two, 200. All right, that looks good. Let's save this. So this is done, guys. All right. If I power my goggles up, everything should be visible there. Just take a look at this. Image is there. Can I arm this? All right, so this is pretty cool. Beta flight is all set up. Let's go back to the table and uh, set this up and go for a flight. All right, guys, we're back here at the table. We got this checked out in beta flight. Looks pretty good, not too bad. What we're gonna do right now is install the propellers. I'm going here with the HQ propellers for now. It just looks like there's a little bit more angle or more crank at the root of the propeller here compared to the gem fan. Doesn't mean anything, just means that there's gonna be a little bit more thrust or lift closer to the hub. That's fine. So let's get these installed. 
We have the included screws here, eight screws, and we also have a hex wrench as well. Props installed, it looks really nice now, really, really nice. The last thing we're gonna do here is install the camera mount. Although this is a digital camera here in the front, the Polar Vista, we are gonna add a camera on here to record as well. So nice PTU mount is already included in the package and it is cut out specifically for this joint as you can see right here. So you really can't mount it the wrong way. So we have the props on, we have the camera mount on here. We're gonna install this camera right here. This is the Firefly x Lite. I did a review on this one here. This is a pretty awesome camera for the price. I'll leave a link where you can find this and yeah, decide for yourself if this is an option for you. So let's mount this now. This is a pretty cool camera. It has a mount on here, one for a traditional GoPro mount at the bottom and then upside down you have a mount here for these smaller drones here. So let's just line this up. And the bolt is included here with the x 35. Tighten this thing up. All right, let's see how that feels. Oh yeah, a lot more friction. Let's mount the camera in here. Boom. And it goes pretty well with this setup here. Very stealthy setup, guys. Not bad at all. Look at this. I actually want to try it in here, but I probably won't. Let's go outside, take this puppy for a spin. And yeah, and let's see how this thing performs, guys. Let's do it, let's go outside.